Welcome to a gorgeous afternoon here in the Maasai Mara for your very own live privately guided safari. My name is Brent Dearsmith and I'll be joining Taylor and Ali as we take you on an African adventure. Remember if you want to ask us any questions use the hashtag safari live. I have dangerous Dave Eastor on camera and we're with the Olololo pride. There we go. Oh, she's up at the perfect time. Now, this pride has recently had three tiny, tiny little babies. And I'm not sure that doesn't look like mom. And they're somewhere in this lugger. A lugger is a little river system. And we haven't managed to see the cubs yet. Some of the Angama guides have told me about it. But there we go. You can see it's a beautiful lugger surrounded by quinine trees. Where are you off to, big girl? She looks like that she's eaten quite well recently. And I think, yes, she just got a bit hot in the spot she was in. So she decided to pop down for a little rest. Now, the Ololo, the Ololo pride and the Angama pride are very, very closely related. So they are breakaways from the original marsh pride on the other side of the river. And uh, seven lionesses came across the river in 2014. And uh, they are still friends, sort of, uh, but they, they will sometimes be seen together, but generally these three lionesses spend all their time together and then the four Angama girls spend time further to the southwest from here. So uh, they're more towards the, the most northern crossing point in the river, this pride, whereas the Angama pride is around the Smucky Swamp, right up to the out of Africa area. Bobby says she looks pregnant. Bobby, I think she's pregnant full of warthog. Uh, so I think her belly's just quite full. And just, you can see by the way she's breathing, it's not that hot. Uh, so I think she is just very, very, very full. Now, what a lovely spot to spend the afternoon. Oh, look at, isn't that cute? Look how she's just leaning her head on the top of the bank. And uh, as a lion's go, that's a pretty good spot, you know, uh, unsuspecting warthog or, or something else might just wander up and get snacked upon. Uh, of course, the fat lady has made it a bit more difficult by lying out in the open. So we are slowly learning the different dynamics of the prides here, but it is going to take a while before we completely understand everything. Richard says the cubs must be nearby. Uh, Richard, as far as I know, the den's probably about a kilometer from here. And uh, it isn't uncommon for lionesses to leave their cubs and move even further than that away from them uh, in terms of going to hunt. So they're unable to provide enough milk for their cubs unless they can provide enough meat for themselves. So they are often sometimes quite far away uh, from the cubs. and. Uh, they also will, well, they'll move back there normally once a day to feed. Uh, sometimes they'll leave them for even two or three days before uh, returning to them. Isn't that cute? Now, judging that the one female's got such a fat belly, I would say the other two probably uh, have also got lovely fat bellies. says the one in the center looks super happy well if a lion's got a fat belly it's a happy creature so uh, I'm sure it is very happy then oh she's up again I think that big fat belly is causing some her dis some discomfort looks like she's gonna walk down towards us and uh, we might just move the vehicle a little bit when she disappears beyond this little rise in front of us Oh, there she goes. Okay, I'm gonna jump down into my turret and let's keep following her. Isn't this exciting? Remember, this is 100% live coming to you from Kenya. Now, I wonder if they don't have a kill around or she's just going to go find a nice shady bush to sleep in. I think that's exactly what she's up to. And you can now see how even an animal as big as a lion can disappear in even the most innocuous of little bushes. No, no, she is very full, very fat. How's that, Dave? 
I just, there's a car coming. Um, I'm just gonna sit there for now. I'm just gonna wait for the vehicle to go past. And just see where they stop. Okay. So when Davy? There we go. And you can see she's an extremely well fed. Oh dear, I'm pulling cables out of things. Lioness. I think I might have disconnected my comms. No, I haven't. Okay, we're all good. Uh, so here we go. You see, she just got a little bit hot out there in the sun, and she's come to lie in this little bush uh, to hide from that scorching African sun. Now, even though it's always quite cool up here, as we are about 1,600 meters above sea level where we're sitting currently, uh, the sun does take its toll on you. Uh, Oh, but at this time of the year, well, the rainy season is extending into June this year, and you can hear some thunder, and uh, I think we might have to dash a little bit later, as uh, that is exactly where our weather comes from, so hopefully it just stays away for a little bit longer so we can show you some more Masai Mara magic. Well, Aaron is asking, uh, the same coalition, that coalition of four males that are dominant over the Angama pride uh, as, and dominant over the Ololo pride as well. Indeed, they are, Aaron. So they are the same lionesses. Good luck. Uh, they are the, oh, sorry, the, the, the same males that dominate over both prides. But I don't think these lions, oh, judging from their fat bellies, I think another lioness is on her way. I'm just going to see quickly if she comes towards us. There you, go, you can see the aerials that are bringing you uh, the picture there very briefly. Now, I can't really see if she is as full as uh, the lioness. She does, oh, no, she is as full. There we go. And I don't think uh, they're going to move too much. Uh, because they have got those wonderful big bellies full of I'm not sure what. Uh, like the Angama pride and the pride they spawned from, the Marsh pride, they are very, very, very adept warthog hunters. Hi, Ali. Ali would like to know, do the lions migrate as well? They do not. The lion prides are resident. Uh, there, there are some young males that are said to mi follow the migration, but again, it'll never be through the whole migration. It'll only be for little bits of it. So they, they, they don't migrate, Ali. These are very good looking girls, though. I think they're probably going, they're in a good spot here. There's lots of water around um, and they've got full bellies, not too far away from the cubs. So I don't think they're going to move too far today. There we go. Now, can you believe the first time I came to this particular part of Kenya, I stayed very, very close to here and I was about 10 years old and the memory I have from that time is actually lions feeding on a hippo. Ali's got a live one back in South Africa.